Oh my gosh, two videos in one day? <gasps> okay, I'm kidding, but yeah, as you tell by the title, it's pretty beginner, beginner stuff on the tramp. Now, if you want like me, where it's a circle and it's not like a super professional one, do you know those ones that not too high? This is the, some of the best ways that you're able to jump insanely high. Not insanely, but like just enough to like get double flips, which I almost have for an upcoming video, which hopefully will release in the next two weeks. Now, the first way is my favorite way. It's also, um, not my favorite way. It's pretty effective, but it's kind of hard to get used to. And basically how you do this one is you take a freaking hose and spray it down. It gets more weight on the tramp, as you can see. If you can tell, my tramp is wet right now. That is how I've been landing some pretty wild tricks. It gets you more air. So it's extremely useful. Now, here are some more like ways to do it that you're actually using physical ability and timing. The first way is the arm swing. You've probably seen this a million times. That's how I, it's the main thing I use to get height. Now you're about to see what it looks like. So this is just what the wet tramp looks like first is what I'm gonna show you right now. So yeah, that's how much the wet tramp gets you. It is actually really good, honestly. It gets you some extra height. That's probably like at least six inches of extra height. That's like no effort put into the bounce. It's like maybe a few like little thrusts of your knee. Now, the second way, um, I've already told you is the arm swing. This is my favorite. You can pull it off anywhere. Trampoline parks, your trampoline. Really easy. First, it may look like you're completely crazy, but then, when you get it right and you jump way higher than all your friends, they'll be the ones that are crazy. Now, a really, really important thing about this trick is the timing. So I'm about to show you guys right now. Yeah. Okay. I know this angle probably sucks, but what you really want to do is I'm not going to bounce very high because I don't want my iPad to fall. And you can see through the net, hopefully. Now. When you're going up, your arms should be going up. Like that. As you see. And when you're coming down, you don't be like thrust down. Like this is what it looks like. If you thrust down, it looks really weird. Like, yeah, it looks stupid when you thrust down. You just really got to get that turn. Right when you hit the ground, like right when you're about right here, coming down, and all this tramp is sinking in, and then you like, want to start the hand shoot up. And just follow you. Now this next way is extremely easy to learn. Like the other one, the hose one, well, you don't need to learn anything. And the arm one maybe takes 10 minutes to get like pretty good. I've done this arm thing for like four years at least. So yeah, but once you do it for like 30 minutes, you're not going to get any better at it. You can't get any better at it. Now, this last one, no effort. It is just like, I'm actually gonna show you guys on the ground first, how I do it. Now this is also where I've been working on some upcoming videos in a grass field. So yeah, some cool tricks. Now, what you, there's a freaking bug right there, so I'll put my iPad there. Now, for this, you know, you're jumping, you know, you're jumping, you're gonna really wanna like, tuck your knees and when you get to the ground, kind of squat and jump. You really wanna like, be slamming your feet into the tramp. So like, like that. Really just, putting strength into shoving down. There's not really any timing either. It's right before you hit the ground. So yeah, here's what it looks like. It's not like it matters, but yeah. So yeah, guys. That's how I jump higher on the trampoline. Extremely basic. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace, baby.